Well, here at Bikini's Fruit Tree, we've been around since 1945 when the Bikini family first moved to the area. And we've been producing various fruits over the years. Currently, we have six varieties of cherries, peaches, nectarines, pluots and plums, and three varieties of apricot, and a blackberry, which is called an alali berry, and loquat. So uh, with our apricot varieties, and this rule applies to most of the fruit that we have here at Bikini's Fruit Tree, the darker color a fruit has will make it much more sweeter. So when you're going to select and you see a bunch that are in varying colors, you look for the darkest one for higher sugar and uh, those are going to be more juicy and uh, much more enjoyable. With an apricot, you don't want to pull on it and see how the branch comes with it like that? It's not quite ready to come off. It's not quite ripe when, when the branch comes with it, when you go to pull on it like that. What you look for when you want to pick an alali berry is the first thing is it's a blackberry variety. You want to find the one that has the darkest color possible. So usually in the bunch there'll be some red ones and then there's always one good dark one there. And the trick to picking it is just grab it gently and turn it sideways and it pops right off. And you'll notice no juice on my fingers. If you were to twist it, it would take more effort and then you would break the fruit and make it leak. Or if you were to pull it straight, it would also break the fruit open. So the trick is to just grab it and just pop it sideways, just like that. So what you're looking for when you're picking the cherries here is dark and large, and they, we like them because they have a little crunch to them. But the best way to pick it is to grab it by the stem, not by the fruit, but by the stem itself, and go crossways from where the branch goes. So you want to go this way. If you were to peel it this way, you would damage the bark, and that's where next year's fruit is going to come from. So you want to pick it to the side like that where it snaps right off. That's a, that's a beautiful specimen too. Mm, sweet and crunchy. Very good. These are our big gym loquats. Some people call them Miss Barrow. Ideally, um, it, it's best to use like scissors or uh, cutters and cut it right above that cluster right there and then you take the whole thing and separate it with you. But if you don't want so much of it, that way it'll last longer. If you just want one, you, you can just twist it like that and um, it won't last as long, similar to a cherry when you pull the stem off of it because it cracks open that part of the fruit right there and uh, breaks the seal on the skin. So um, ideally the best thing to do is to cut the cluster off right above the bunch. This is our variety of white peach. It's called Spring Snow, and it's very simple to pick. Uh, the best way is not to pull it, but to just give it a little twist and then pull, and it comes right off. You pick fruit, it's not only a great value, it's more economical than what you would find in the produce department at the local grocery store because of the fact that it gets to ripen on the tree. And uh, with some of the other produce uh, that you can purchase, it gets picked many miles away and travels on a truck to get there, so they sometimes have to pick it before it's ready. And here it's allowed to hang on the tree and it's more sweeter, larger, much better tasting, and it's cheaper generally than what you would find in the produce departments at the stores too.